Hey up everybody, uh, I'm on part 2 of my Myford ML7 trial EVA videos and in part 1 if you've not seen that I've shown you how I determined how I found out that my belts wanted to change in and how to get into the belts to inspect them so I've took the, old, I've took the trial EVA uh, mechanism off so you can see that in part 1 so in this part then I'll show you how to get the headstock spindle out and the counter shaft spindle so you can get the belts out. I've been and ordered three belts and I'll try and put a, a shot of that website on or a link to it, I don't know which but watch for that. And be careful where you get them from because I've had a variation in price. Uh, the ones I've ordered and we're in 2021 now they've cost me £10 plus delivery which were £13 which I thought were, were quite reasonable for three belts then I've had a look at another company that sells them uh, at the other extreme end £40 plus VAT plus delivery so you're talking a £50 there so it is worth shopping around. Here's the basic tools that you're going to need to do this job. A mallet, uh, some long nose pliers, a 3 8 width width spanner, flat, flat bladed screwdriver, uh, a copper dolly for, for just for punching, a brass, uh, a brass punch, imperial sized allen keys, and uh, for some reason a 10 millimeter spanner I don't know why it's 10 millimeter unless there's an equivalent AF and I've got a magnet here just to reach the awkward screw that's down in this at the back of this guard so I don't drop it I've took the belt off the main drive to release the tension on this counter shaft I've got to take this top guard off that protect, protects the top of the belts. I've got to remove the counter shaft that way and take, to take the pulley off. And I've got to take the headstock top bearings off just to lift the headstock up to get the belts free. You've got to take the guard off the top and there's, there's a clamp on one side and the same arrangement on here on the other side. So whatever I'm doing on this side is identical at the back here. And there's a screw there and a screw at the back. It's the same here on the back. Two screws, two allen headed screws and then there's this screw here onto this bracket. So that's the top guard off. So I've now got to release this collar. And that just slides off and then on the belt on the pulley you've got to find where the fixing screws are and there's two grub screws buried into that center pulley So the pulley is now free but you've got to push the pulley forward and find where the woodruff key is that drives the pulley. So I think this has got to be tapped out now. So I'm using my copper, my copper dolly. Just 
tap it as far as it'll go up, that, up to that casting, slide the pulley forward and then you can see the woodruff key. There's the woodruff key. That's got to be re removed. Now I can tap the shaft out. I'm using a brass punch for this. Right, to remove the headstock spindle you've just got to take the four cap head screws out and lift the bearings off carefully. Don't get any dirt in them. Once I've got all these off I'm going to give this a good clean down and uh, thoroughly clean everything and get all the debris out. Right, I've got the four screws undone now. You probably have to release this collar on the back of the spindle that, to adjust the thrust bearing for your spindle. Just wind that off a little bit. Everything freed up now. You might find that these are tight and they might just want tapping with the with the hide the hide or a plastic mallet just to just to loosen them a, a fraction. You don't want to get these mixed up. Well you can't get them mixed up really but you, you could in theory get them turned round on this one. So just keep your eye on, you know, that you're keeping everything marked up where everything went and you'll probably find some shims under these. So I've got one shim in that side and one shim in this side. So there's two shims on that side. Side. Yeah, there's one on the other side. So what you'll find under there is white metal bearings and uh, they look in good condition. Then you can lift your spindle out. And jiggle it through and then you can remove the belts. I think they shot it. That's the first one off. Second one's not as bad. But the, the last one is hanging on by a thread. So when I've got everything cleaned up then and uh, spick and span, I'll uh, in part three, I'll reassemble it in reverse order and, and set it all up so it's back to where it was before I stripped it down.